All righty, 126. Okay, so wow. Let's just go with wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's wow. all you got? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> I think we uh, rendered Kevin Kraft speechless with this iron. I'm, I'm perplexed. <laughs> Big one today, the Ping G430 irons are here and we're gonna test them out and review them. Kevin Kraft is here to hit the shots on TrackMan and we'll tell you everything that you need to know about the new G430 irons. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you give this video a like, and then you tell us in the comments what you think of the new G430 irons. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, a master club fitter at our Columbia store today we're at the Minnetonka Tour Van, and we've got new irons, the Ping G430. And a lot to talk about with these. Yes. Um, first of all, Kevin, talk to me about what your kind of first impression is holding it in your hand. What do you see? Maybe compare it, you know, from what you kind of remember from mm -hmm. G425. I mean, talk to me here. So looking at it, it looks very much like the next progression in, in a Ping line. Yeah. Ping's absolutely incredible at taking their previous line looking at it, analyzing it and figuring out, you know, how can we tweak this thing to yeah. make it, make it a bit better, right? We're not, we don't typically see like huge, huge leaps mm -hmm. uh, from one generation to the next with Ping, but you can be, you can absolutely bet on the fact that this generation is going to be better than yep. the last. Yep. Um, from a, from a look standpoint, you know, this, this Ping has their shape. Yep. Right. Everybody, every company's kind of got their shape. This looks very much like a ping iron, um, but they've done, they've continued on a, a mm -hmm. really nice, doing a nice job of taking that top line, rounding it down, yeah. so you can have a, a really forgiving, mm -hmm. really helpful golf club look more appealing to yeah. the eye. I so, think the last few generations of kind of their their high MOI or G iron yeah. have been they've been really good at refining that look a little bit. I remember Absolutely. like the G400, a little bit thicker, yep. right? Thicker golf yep. club, that sole's pretty big. Yep. And they keep refining it, and it, now it looks like a really kind of on the smaller side of a game improvement iron, yeah. for sure. And then I think they've also, they're really focusing on that ball speed, because sure. they've been, you know, one of the leaders in forgiveness, yep. all the way driver down to irons for years now. Really gonna chase that ball speed now, and I think part of why we that loft is adjusted, but then also, the pure flex technology, seven flex zones on that face to yep. increase that ball speed. You're gonna see some extra distance now from the ping iron. That's what we're looking for. Um, you know, forgiveness is oh, is absolutely the hallmark of a ping golf club, mm -hmm. whether it's drivers, fairway woods, hybrids, yep. irons. Um, so we expect to have that that same thing here. Um, Ping's definitely chasing a little bit of ball speed this year, which yep. I think is great because mm -hmm. when you can give we can give the golfer everything that they want, which yeah. is something that's very forgiving, but also very fast and mm -hmm. producing that distance. Uh, you make for a lot of happy campers, right? right? Um, so yeah, I think everything that they've done here is great. You know, if you look back at G15, mm -hmm. G10, G15, that top line was really thick. Yes, it was. Right, they mm -hmm. were kind of bordering on super game improvement. Yeah. So they were almost taking their, their flagship model almost to a different place. Yeah. And they've done a great job over the last you know, four or five generations bringing mm -hmm. this down to to this form, mm -hmm. which is very, very appealing. And I'm quite certain it's going to play yeah. out as as extremely well performing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So we have a G430 and we have the dynamic gold S300 shaft there as well. So we'll yes. test that out today. That is one of the fitted options for that iron. We should also note the loft on that 700 is 29 degrees. Yes. So I believe it's one or one and a half stronger Correct. than the G425. So with that, you should see some more distance in ball speed. However, that center of gravity did get lower. Yes, so it did. you'll likely see some, some launch there to kind of maybe uh, make up for that difference. Yeah. Um, and then we should also talk about the tungsten weights that they're kind of famous for, tungsten weight in that toe. You see that there, uh, some stability on that iron. Mm -hmm. If you were to hit it off the heel or the toe. Widens out that sweet spot. Mm -hmm. yep. That's what the golfers are looking for. So Absolutely. we've got the track man ready to go here, waiting well, for you, that? calling your name, Oh, calling the G430 name as well. So okay. I think I hear I think it, I think I it's it. time yeah. to go hit some shots. Okay, sounds good. All right, Mr. Kraft, G430, you've got it in your hand there. Um, talk to me about what you see looking down at it and then uh, at address as well. I see a ping iron. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, It has all the all the harm, hallmarks of a ping iron. Yeah. Um, it is, ping's now pretty classic shape. Um, I'm 
I like ping shape pretty well, uh, being really aesthetically oriented uh, and really focused on what I call the crotch of the club here, mm -hmm. where it enters the, where the the hosel starts to enter the head and how it climbs to the toe. This actually really appeals quite well to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it looks really good. The rounded top line is not thick and chunky. It doesn't put you off at all. Right. It looks like, you know, somebody could look put that down and, and, and say, hey, is this really forgiving? because it, it looks more like a player's club. Yeah. So when we have that, it, it really helps us as fitters to be able to help those players that, that need that little extra, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when you give them a golf club that really looks like a, like a really good, mm -hmm. almost into a player's look golf right. club, yeah. but it has all this technology and all, the, all this assistance behind yep. it, fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's got a decent amount of offset to it, but it's not, crazy offset either yeah uh can be a lot of people can be kind of sensitive to that as yeah. well so this this frames up the ball really nicely um it looks good. good it looks good that's yeah. also pretty good feedback there and i think uh i think i mean the the, the look the last couple of years like i mentioned has been getting a lot better with the game improvement iron. sure it has been getting gradually more compact but um i think now that that loft is below 30 i'm curious to see distance and ball speed numbers i think eventually the viewers on the channel will see that we do compare them kind of all brand to brand and yeah. they'll see how that stacks up but yeah ping's kind of sort of throwing their hat into that race now a little bit for people want distance with distance. their forgiveness yeah you know they mm -hmm. want to have their cake and eat it too i think <laughs> this i think this will do it mm -hmm. i think this will do it <laughs> all righty 126 right off the bat all right Oh, <laughs> Did you? It's already 200 yards already. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. 109 feet in the air, 47 degree landing angle. Got it turning a little bit more, so that probably brought our spin rate down a little bit. But one, yeah, one four four smash factor. It feels hot. Yeah. It feels hot. Oh goodness. <laughs> See, there's some more spin there. I didn't turn over as much. You added about, actually your carry distance was basically the same as the last shot. <laughs> I think we uh, rendered Kevin Kraft speechless with this iron. I'm, I'm perplexed. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's crazy. There you go. I missed it. I only got one, four, three yeah, smash you, factor. You, you dropped your yardage under 200 yards. Now your average is 200.8, if I can read that right. So unbelievable. No, that your yeah, your spin, the spin is going to be, it looks like right around mid 4,000s, mm -hmm. as long as that ball is turning over, which um, I know you're probably, probably would want more spin, but also if you're hitting it this high and getting the stopping power. The landing angle is almost 50 degrees. So yeah. this is this is the key. Almost every manufacturer has been chasing distance. And one of the ways they're gonna do that is by reducing spin, Yeah. right? So the problem with that is we're either gonna stop a ball with spin or with trajectory. As lofts have gotten a lot stronger and spins come down, if we don't have a golf club that really gets that ball up in the mm -hmm. air, we create a situation that's bad for the customer, right? So um, seeing the trajectory up there, one of the things that will produce trajectory for a lot of people is ball speed. Yeah. So look, ping's, ping's my number one go-to when I have somebody that needs trajectory. Yeah. Low center of gravity across the board. People yep. tend to launch ping higher. So seeing those numbers, I, from a fitting standpoint, I don't have any issues yeah. there. No. I really don't have any issues there. I mean, it's the same shot every time. I am a professional. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but I am not a robot. <laughs> I mean, are we sure about that? <laughs> I think you can see if I bleed. <laughs> I mean, I think it's the same thing again. Yeah, it is. All right. I'm wow. excited to see. Okay, so wow. Let's just go with wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's wow. all you got? 
Feels great. I mean, listen to it. It sounds yeah, really it good. It does. Sounds fast. Feels fast. I mean. Um, that. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. Wow and that is what we've got. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's take that. That's yeah. magnificent. Let's uh, blow this up too. <laughs> we can see the shots here, right? I mean. <laughs> oh, come on. One, four, three. <laughs> come on. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Had, I mean, you did get the 0.00, .00 here. <laughs> 1.0 on the ball speed. Spin is 168. <laughs> uh, and look at the carry numbers. You have this one that you, you missed it oh, ever man. so slightly. Yeah. But you got 191.6, 192.1, 191.2, 192.3, and then 188.4, which that's fine. But then look at these totals. You have four that are the same. You have basically four of these shots for the exact same. And then you have one that was like, you must have missed it, a, you know, a quarter of a millimeter off the same spot. <laughs> But the consistency clearly is there. And I think that's actually something to, to point out because we've mentioned before with game improvement irons that the distance can vary sometimes with yes. like those hot spots and yes. things like that. Yes. But the flex zones from pure flex on that face, yeah. they're, they're may, increasing ball speed throughout the face, but also it's consistent and it's not giving you that flyer or it's yeah. not missing, you know, one fraction of a miss on that face is not jumping all over the place or yeah. giving you a 10 yards further out of nowhere, sure. which is always a concern with these right. clubs. Right, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, wow. <laughs> He's just, we, wow. We've, we've I mean, rendered him just, speechless. I, there's nothing else. Yeah. Come get fit for the G430 <laughs> iron. Get perplexed. You will, <laughs> you will appreciate it, believe me. G430, a little spicy right now. Still sizzling from those shots. That thing is wicked. Yeah, it's, uh, we saw some distance, some carry, some ball speed. Oh, we saw but, some ball speed. But it was the same almost every time. Yes. So, um, as we talked about, the pure flex uh, zones on the face, yep. added ball speed, but consistent. And I think that might be a, an element in game improvement irons that's lost out there. In some, in some models, some brands, but Ping's doing it right here by maintaining consistency, yep. um, which has been, I mean, we've been doing these Ping videos and I drive her down to irons. Yeah. Consistency in all the G430 products is yep. all there. Yep, and that's what most clients that come in, one of the primary things they're asking for is consistency. It's hard to give a customer more consistency unless they're gonna be out practicing a mm -hmm. lot, right? right. But when you get a golf club that is absolutely designed to help with specifically that, it just makes, right. it makes my life easier because I have something to give them. Yeah. It makes their life easier because they've got something to play. Mm -hmm. Right. So we've talked about all the tech and all the features and the performance. Uh, now take kind of get yourself into the fitting bay. Someone's coming mm -hmm. in, they're looking for irons. What type of player is it that you're probably going to be fitting for G430? So this can go into anybody's bag, mm -hmm. okay? Um, better players do not necessarily have to play a more player-oriented golf yeah. club. When I was a Corn Ferry Tour player, I played game improvement golf clubs. Mm -hmm. I played my absolute best with a game improvement golf club. So subsequently, I actually tried one this year, and I just couldn't <laughs> deal with the extra distance. So, uh, but, you know, the player that plays reasonable amount of rounds, yeah. somebody that plays a lot of rounds, slower swing speeds, faster <laughs> swing speeds. You can, I can put anybody into yeah. this. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think somebody the other that thing, needs trajectory. Yeah. This is, this is an absolute go-to hundred percent yeah. absolute. Go -to. And I think the easy thing for you guys too, in fittings is the power and retrospect options that are available. Yes, with Ping. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's incredible, right? So you get somebody that hits it, that comes in and they maybe they already hit it high mm -hmm. and ping might be a little bit questionable because it's going to throw that ball up there for them anyway. If they want more distance, let's power spec it. Yeah. Let's let's bring that flight down just a yeah. little bit. If you've got it, you know, got it to, to spend, let's spend a little bit of that, and get it in there. But if you've got somebody that maybe doesn't want to hit it quite that far, right. uh, the retro spec lofts are, mm -hmm. are, are definitely an option. Right. Uh, the nice thing is this thing's got horsepower to spare. Yeah. So we can do kind of whatever we want mm -hmm. with this. Right. And I mean, as we saw consistency, we saw, you know, you were pure flexed. Is what you said. So um, the G430 irons, pretty darn good results in the testing today. Uh, so get fit for your set at Second Swing. Any of our stores, someone like Kevin will take care of you. Get you 
with the right specs, the right setup, the right everything for your G430 irons, and you'll start hitting more greens yep. and playing better golf. So, Kevin, thank you for joining. Um, Absolutely. A lot of fun to watch this and really good stuff for the G430s. Yeah, awesome. Great golf club.